I'm on a remote Scottish island looking for an animal that in the 1900s was exterminated from the British Isles. They stand three and a half foot tall. They're huge creatures. This animal has an eight foot wingspan, a predatory creature which is capable of carrying away the lambs whole, alive and kicking. My name's Ewan Wilson and we are going to find the white-tailed sea eagle in the Scottish Hebrides. Let's get going. My adventure for the white-tailed sea eagle brings me here to the Isles of Mull, a beautiful island off the west coast of Scotland. You can probably tell the sky is opening up and the weather's turning around as I've been here. You know what, next time I'm just going to go to the zoo. If you're an animal nerd like me, you would love to come here. It is an amazing place for all different kinds of wildlife. The most common of which I found were these grey seals, who are an absolute pleasure to film. Small little common seal colony over there. Little common seal colony over there. This is so much fun. This is day one. I had a huge amount of luck with red deer, and even caught an incredible sighting of these young bucks trying to show each other who's boss. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. But what's really interesting is that another thing you see very commonly on the Isles of Mull are domestic animals. So the white-tailed sea eagle, the animal we're looking for, it was exterminated completely from the UK as these animals are prolific for stealing livestock. Last spring I did a lambing season there, um, helping a good friend of mine, Dolan McLeod, out. He's uh, the shepherd on this estate, and he's got a flock of 500. This is Finley Owen. He's a hunter, fisherman, and more importantly for us, has had experience in the lambing season. He also has a really cool YouTube channel and Instagram page, which I've linked both in the description below. I've been absolutely fascinated with these news stories. It's like, it's like kind of a movie or a video game or something. It's like, it's like a big monster comes over a hill and steals livestock. It's fascinating. I can't help but be fascinated in it. But I have to remember that my curiosity is one part of the story. And actually the other half is a lot of people depend on their sheep to basically feed their families. So when it's if you have 1,500 sheep, you lose 10. That's, that's a small margin. If you have 30 and you lose five, that's a big dent. So when they lose one or two um, to eagles or any other predators, you know, I can understand how it would affect you and it hurts, especially when it comes to, you know, lambing. It's easy to read tons of these articles that you find online and think of these eagles as terrible things, just stealing farmers' lambs and whatnot. But if you look at statistics, there's not really anywhere for them to go. According to Nature Scott, about 75%, 75% of Scotland's land is devoted to agriculture. So it's not all one-sided. These sorts of things never are, but I feel like our perceptions of them always tend to lean in favor of either the farmer or the animal, when really, they're both just parties trying to get by. And I think that's something we should remember. With eagles attacking sheep in mind, I wanted to make that my main strategy for filming these animals in the wild. So I dragged a couple of my close friends up a mountain and we found a sheep herd to sit next to and wait until something would hopefully come and get them. After many freezing cold hours, I had a glimpse of something. A couple seconds worth of footage, just at the corner of my eye. It was amazing to see the animals, but I have to admit, I was kind of annoyed that I didn't get a better image. I cannot believe I missed that. That's a perfect shot. I should slow down and just like duck and dive between the hills. Just as I noticed her, and she flew off. Damn. <sighs> Unfortunately for me, this sighting was going to be one of the best I had for a while. Days had gone by without seeing a single wingspan of a white-tailed sea eagle. I was on an island affectionately known as Eagle Island, and I can't find anything. Basically, I'm going to sit here and hope that an eagle flies by, really. At the moment, I'm going to have a cashew for good luck. 
I thought I could just walk in to Mall Charters, which is really famous for getting Eagle Pictures, and book a tour. But apparently, everyone and their mother has booked a tour at Mall Charters. So we're kind of uh, we're kind of not able to do that right now. So I'm thinking of a plan Z, one, two, five, six, and pi to uh, try and figure out how to get this shot. I had a tip off in an area called Loch Nakiel. In the center of the island, apparently, there is a nesting pair of white-tailed sea eagles. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we got ourselves some unique footage of a very special animal. All it takes is time, and thank God for patience, because at last, I saw them. Incredible animals, truly. As a photographer person, Videographer, someone who appreciates good imagery. It does kill me that they're so far away. My images, unfortunately, do not do this animal justice. From wingtip to wingtip, this large female is about eight and a half foot long. This is an extraordinarily powerful animal who is definitely capable of taking out livestock. If you look closely at this shot here, she's carrying nesting material, ready to build her nest for the season. As I was sitting there, I almost felt irritated that I couldn't get closer, that these were probably the best images I was going to get of the white-tailed sea eagles in Scotland. But I had to learn to push these feelings down and just enjoy the moment and witness being in the presence of these animals. Deer started to emerge out of the forest and here's my best attempt to show you how big these birds really are. She's still there, so that's the eagle. That's the deer. Try that again. Those are the deer. And that's the eagle. How wild is that? With the frantic search for these animals now over, my mind started to return to what the farmers think of the reintroduction of these incredible predatory birds. If it impacts people's livelihood, you know, I can understand that the pressures of that. Um, but you know, these these animals were here originally. They have every right to be here. Generally speaking, it's a it's a good news story in Scotland. You know, the reintroduction of such a magnificent species. You know, it's a, it's an apex predator in its own right. Now I understand that Finlay Owen's accounts are of one person. So if you're a Scottish farmer who has had different experiences with eagles, please hit me up in the comments and I'd love to have a chat with you.